Hi guys. Today on our delicious journey we are going to make a mutton korma which is an elaborate recipe but it's worth the effort and it's trust me truly delicious. So to make that korma we are going to take 1 kg of mutton with bone 5 to 6 cloves to this 4 green cardamoms and 2 inches of cinnamon and half a liter of water I think this is almost a liter of water so yeah And now what we're going to do is we're going to boil this meat till it is done. So I'm adding about 2 teaspoons of pink salt to this. Just cover this and cook it till the mutton is done. Okay? While the mutton is getting cooked, we're going to prepare its gravy. The gravy, we're going to heat half a cup of oil first. let it get hot so now in this oil we are going to fry half a kg of sliced onions till they are golden in color now you know the rule right when you are frying onions to make them crisp and golden just keep stirring it or sauteing it every 15 to 20 seconds okay otherwise you know the onions will get fried uneven and Some might just get burnt, so we don't want that, right? So the onions are fried the color that I wanted. So I'm going to remove this now. Now in the same clay pot, I'm going to add three tablespoons of ghee. Till the ghee melts, I'm going to quickly make a spice mix with half a teaspoon of turmeric, a tablespoon of coriander seed powder, two tablespoons of chili powder, a teaspoon of fennel seed powder. That's it. Now just mix this. Keep this aside. Now what we're going to do is. in this ghee a tablespoon of ginger paste and a tablespoon of garlic paste and just saute it for a minute lesser than a minute the ginger and garlic is releasing a beautiful aroma and now i'm going to add the spice mix that we have made just saute it for a second and then two tomatoes that are finely chopped we're going to add this and just fry this till the tomatoes are soft and mushy i don't want the masalas to get burnt so i'm going to add quarter cup of water to this now we'll fry this See how beautifully the oil is separating here. Delicious it's going to turn out. Now, we are going to whisk 1 cup of yogurt. Reduce the flame before we add the yogurt. And saute this till oil separates and the tomatoes are nice and soft and mushy. You can see how a beautiful layer of oil is floating on top. Now we'll add 2-3 tablespoons of freshly chopped coriander leaves, 4 to 5 green chilies that are slit, the fried onion. Mix this well. And the meat over here is almost done. Yeah. Add the meat. Now we'll add some of the stock as well about a cup or two of the stock 
Let's give this a good mix while the mutton is absorbing all the spices and the flavors from the curry. I'm going to quickly grind a cup of freshly grated coconut and half a cup of cashew nuts. So just let me quickly grind this in top. Now to this we'll add the cashew and coconut paste. It's a nice fine paste. Just add this. Mix this well. It yet has to cook for a few more minutes. Now we need to adjust the salt to this because we added salt while we were cooking the meat. But we'll add a tad bit of salt right now for the gravy. So taste it, okay? Before you add the salt. So for me, I figure it with the smell and I realize that it is not smelling like it normally does. So, now it's perfect. And cook it on a medium to low flame for 10 minutes. The mutton kurma is ready and now I'm going to remove this in a serving bowl and serve it with some steamed rice. I know it's an elaborate recipe though I have tried to uh, you know simplify the whole thing but definitely try it because the outcome is really delicious and subscribe to Smitha Dev.